the first Singapore citizen to be tagged as a politically significant person under a 2021 law on foreign interference oversees the multi-million dollar property portfolio of a Chinese metal billionaire. The island's Home Affairs Ministry said Friday it was invoking the foreign interference law against 59-year-old Philip Chon Manping. Chon manages the real estate investment arm of a copper conglomerate owned by Chinese billionaire Wang Wanin. Chon has been assessed to have shown susceptibility to be influenced by foreign actors and willingness to advance their interests, the ministry said, adding that his activities were directed towards a political end in Singapore. The ministry didn't name any country in its statement or mention Wang. Hong Kong Bon Chon is the managing director of One Way Investments PTE, the Singapore-based property unit of Emma International Group Company. According to One Way's website, Emma is a Fortune Global 500 firm headquartered in Shenzhen that mainly mines, processes and trades copper. Wang, dubbed China's copper king by Chinese media, is ranked as the nation's 35th richest man on the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. His $6.6 billion fortune is dominated by Emma, which he founded in the 1990s. The firm once boasted it was responsible for 10% of the country's copper imports. Emma didn't immediately respond to requests for comment sent outside business hours. One way couldn't be reached for comment. Singapore's Home Affairs Ministry said it informed Chon on February. Two of plans to designate him as a so-called politically significant person. He would have two weeks from the notice to make representations to the authorities, after which he must disclose annually political donations of 10 Singapore dollars. 000 $7,440 or more that he has received and accepted, and declare his foreign affiliations and any migration benefits. Designated individuals may appeal against the decision directly to the Home Affairs Minister. Chon, a property industry veteran who emigrated to Singapore more than three decades ago, is also the Chief Executive Officer of Real Estate Agency C. H. Properties PTE. Emma acquired a majority stake in the firm in 2013. He oversees One Way, along with Lu Jiehong, Wang's China-born wife, who is Executive Director. Lu, a co-founder of Emma, also has Singapore citizenship, according to business records. A native of Anhui Province, her listed residence is a good-class bungalow, Singapore's most prestigious class of landed homes, at Windsor Park Road, a high-end enclave near a nature reserve. Chon has been president since 2011 of the Kowloon Club, a support group for immigrants mainly from Hong Kong. In that role, he penned columns for local paper Lianhe Zaobao and interacted with local politicians, including some government ministers. According to the club website, the club did not respond to a request for comment sent outside business hours. Million Dollar Property Portfolio One Way, which Chan co-founded in 2012 with Emma, has grown its portfolio in Singapore to about 200 million Singapore dollar worth of commercial properties, according to its website. This includes the retail section of the sale at Marina Bay, a high-profile waterfront development in the Central Business District, as well as shops in Far East Plaza, a mall in the Orchard Road shopping belt. Amos' presence in the financial hub also includes the top three floors of Office Building 20 Collier Quay. Owned by its commodities trading subsidiary, Awin Resource International PTE, according to property records. China is Singapore's largest trading partner and a key source of tourists. But Chinese wealth coming into the state, particularly into the property sector, has been under scrutiny. More than 200 properties have been frozen after a record money laundering bust that began last year involving China-born individuals. With the amount of assets 
ceased at over 3 billion Singapore dollars. Chan declined a request for an interview. In an earlier response to queries from the Lianhe Zabao Daily, he said he really did not know why he was issued the notice and was not told why. He told the paper he will seek to understand the law first before responding. Wooing the elite A growing number of rich immigrants from China have flocked to Singapore in recent years amid a wealth crackdown by President Xi Jinping. A trend that accelerated during the pandemic. Chon founded an independent firm called Mutual Benefits Realty PTE in 2010, according to business records. The firm focuses on serving high net worth clients from China in their acquisition and investment in both high end and mid range properties in Singapore. According to his company biography, he started a similarly named company in 2007 as a business and immigration consultancy, according to business records. He also set up an education consultancy called China Link in 2020 to nurture better understanding and more appreciation toward China within Southeast Asian communities. Chon was invited last March to China's most important annual political gathering, the two sessions, as an overseas delegate. He has been increasingly vocal about what he said is the distortion of China's image by hypocritical Western media. We have a duty as overseas Chinese to tell China's story well when we are abroad, and we will make every effort to do so and spread the message about the excellence of Chinese traditions and culture. He said after the meeting in Beijing. Chon has had extensive ties to business and grassroots organizations in Singapore. He is listed as president of the Hong Kong Singapore Business Association. He was a patron to committees that organized social activities to foster nation building under the purview of the People's Association, a government body. He was also a committee member for SPD, a local disabilities charity, according to a now removed profile on its website. A spokesperson for the People's Association said that Chon has stepped down from all grassroots appointments without elaborating on the time frame or the reasons. The Hong Kong Singapore Business Association said in a statement that Chon has resigned as president effective February 2 and that he had earlier communicated his intention to step down by June 2024. We are solely dedicated to fostering business promotion, collaboration, and enhancing connectivity between Singapore and Hong Kong, the association said. The SPD did not respond to requests for comment sent outside business hours. Chan's advocacy had attracted the attention of authorities in the past. He got a warning from police in 2019 after hosting an illegal public gathering in his bar located at the sale to express support for authorities in Hong Kong during mass protests there. Singapore has said it wouldn't apply the foreign interference law against foreign individuals and publications commenting and reporting on Singaporean politics. Critics of the law have said it gives the government sweeping powers to target dissent and promote self-censorship. The government recently passed a new law empowering authorities to screen investments more closely in sectors critical to its national interests.